Elon Musk has just dropped a phone that is thinner than stacked credit cards, tougher than an iPhone, and with a battery built from rocket tech. You head that right, I'm talking about the Tesla Pi, which is not just a phone but a literal mic drop. Here's what's unbelievable in this latest tech entry. Apple's old playbook versus Musk's disruption. Every September, Apple comes out swinging with the same line, this is the most powerful iPhone we've ever built. And to be fair, the new iPhone 17 Air is impressively thin, just 5.5 millimeters, and light at 145 grams. But here's the catch. Apple got there by quietly shaving off what actually matters, camera depth and battery life. It's the same strategy they've been running since the iPhone X in 2017. Make it thinner, make it lighter, make it prettier, and then cross their fingers hoping you won't notice the sacrifices. Elon Musk saw that play years ago and basically said, nope, why settle for fragile fashion when you can engineer durability and performance in the same package? That's how the Tesla Pi phone entered the game thinner and lighter than Apple's flagship, but somehow stronger, smarter, and way more practical. It doesn't look like a tech compromise. It looks like a straight-up declaration of war on everything Apple calls innovation. And that's the Tesla difference right there. Apple polishes the same old trick. Musk breaks the toy in half, rebuilds it from scratch, and makes you wonder why everyone else kept settling. Universal design that works for everyone. Here's where Tesla plays a move that most companies don't even think about. They actually designed the Pi phone for everybody. Not just Gen Z speed demons who type at 200 words per minute, but also grandparents with arthritis, parents juggling groceries, and anyone who doesn't want to treat their phone like it's made of porcelain. Let's talk numbers. The Tesla Pi phone measures 145.6 mm tall, 70.2 mm wide, and a jaw-dropping 4.8 mm thin, weighing just 110 grams. Now, compare that to Apple's proud ultra-thin iPhone 17 Air at 145 grams. On paper, 35 grams doesn't sound like much, but in the real world, it's the difference between holding two eggs and holding a brick. For seniors with shaky hands, that weight difference means comfort instead of pain. For teens glued to TikTok, it means hours of scrolling without hand fatigue. And here's where Musk's engineers really flexed. They wrapped the Pi in a micro-textured aerospace composite frame that adds just the right amount of friction. It never feels slippery, never feels fragile, and the edges are curved so it rests naturally in your palm. Inside the chassis, Smart grip sensors quietly detect micro-movements. If the phone senses it's slipping, it nudges you with extra haptic feedback, basically giving you a subconscious reminder to hold tighter. That's the kind of design you'll never see in an iPhone, because Apple's chasing fashion, not usability. To top it off, the Pi isn't just sturdy, it's gorgeous. The photochromic back panel shifts colors with ambient light. Imagine your phone literally matching your mood or your Tesla parked outside. Add a 98% screen-to-body ratio, IP69, water and dust protection, and even modular replaceable parts like cameras and batteries. That's Tesla taking design beyond looks, straight into long-term survival. A battery borrowed from space. Now this is where the Tesla Pi turns into straight-up science fiction. Everyone thought making a phone this thin meant cutting the battery down to nothing. Apple proved that with the iPhone 17 Air, which barely lasts a day under heavy use. But Musk's team? They stole a page out of SpaceX's playbook. The Pi phone runs on nanolayer solid-state batteries, adapted from experimental modules, originally built for deep space probes. Yeah, the kind of tech designed to survive the vacuum of space, now sitting in your pocket. The result? A 5,000 mAh capacity packed into a wafer-thin frame, pushing energy density to 920 watt-hours per liter, about 40% higher than anything else on the market. But raw numbers are just the start. Tesla wrapped each cell in a vortex thermal shell, a microscopic lattice that channels heat outward without needing bulky copper or aluminum. Translation? Your phone stays cool even while gaming at 120 frames per second or live streaming in 8 Kelvin. Early tests show 48 hours of screen on time easily double or even triple what Apple's best can manage. And then there's charging. Thanks to Pulse Charge X, the Pi phone jumps from 0 to 80% in just 10 minutes, and a full charge takes only 15. Compare that to Apple's 27-watt fast charger, which crawls to 80% in nearly an hour. And the kicker? This battery isn't a short-term stunt. It's rated for over 4,500 full cycles before dropping below 90% health. That's about seven years of daily charging before you even think about a replacement. So, while Apple quietly builds obsolescence into their design, Tesla just built you a battery that laughs at the idea of upgrade cycles. It's not just a power source, it's freedom. The camera that refuses to compromise. When Apple announced the iPhone 17 Air, critics praised its sleek 5.5mm frame, 
but buried in the fine print was the real cost. A downgraded telephoto lens and weaker low-light performance. Thinness came at the price of photography, and for a company that basically built its empire convincing you that this is the best camera we've ever made, that's a pretty bitter pill. Tesla looked at this and said, why not both? Enter the Pi Phone's Tri-Prism Folded Optics Array, a lens system that's straight-up wizardry. Instead of stacking lenses vertically like every other phone, Tesla engineers laid them sideways, using prisms to bend light across the chassis. The result? A 64-megapixel main sensor, a 48-megapixel ultrawide, and a telephoto with true 6x optical zoom, all inside a body thinner than Apple's compromise design. And it's not just megapixels flexing on a spec sheet. The 1-inch primary sensor pulls in 180% more light than the iPhone 17 Air, meaning night shots look like they were taken at sunset. Add neural night vision, 14-bit RAW support, and a shutter lag so small it's practically instant, and suddenly, this isn't a phone camera, it's a pocket-sized studio. But here's where Musk's design for everyone philosophy sneaks back in. Seniors who struggle with tremors, Tesla added voice-activated capture and smart auto-frame stabilization. Bad eyesight? The viewfinder cranks up contrast and enlarges focus areas. Want to capture the stars? Starlink-powered astrophotography maps the night sky for you in real time. So yes, Apple may have shaved off a few microns of thickness, but Tesla built a camera that makes sure no moment, not a shaky graduation photo or a once-in-a-lifetime meteor shower ever gets lost again. The Tesla ecosystem comes to your pocket. Owning an iPhone means you're plugged into Apple's ecosystem iCloud, Apple Music, Apple Pay, all neatly locked in behind Apple's walled garden. But here's the twist. Tesla's Pi phone doesn't just join an ecosystem, it becomes the command center for one. Imagine unlocking your Tesla car, not by fumbling for keys or even tapping a screen, but simply by holding the phone. The Pi phone is pre-baked with Tesla Connect OS, which syncs instantly with your vehicle. Want to check battery levels, pre-cool the cabin on a hot day, or even summon your car in a parking lot? It's all native, one swipe away. No third-party apps, no clunky Bluetooth delay. But the magic doesn't stop at cars. The Pi phone is also tied directly to Starlink connectivity, turning it into a truly global device. While an iPhone still cries for signal bars in rural areas, the Pi taps into low-Earth orbit satellites, giving you internet in the middle of the Nevada desert or halfway across the Pacific. And here's the kicker you don't even need to think about switching. It just works, seamlessly blending cellular networks with satellite coverage. Tesla even designed modular software hooks for home energy integration. Imagine checking how much solar power your roof pulled in today, or diverting excess energy to your power wall all controlled through the same phone that just took 8 Kelvin video of your dog chasing its tail. The ecosystem play is crystal clear. Apple builds tools to keep you buying more Apple products. Tesla builds tools that make your life run smoother, whether you're driving, charging, or just scrolling. The Pi phone isn't just your daily device, it's your Tesla in miniature sitting in your pocket. Apple versus Tesla, a clash of philosophies. At this point, it's not really a question of specs anymore. Apple and Tesla are playing two completely different games. Apple's philosophy has always been about refinement each year. Polish the design a little more, shave a few grams off, tweak the camera software, call it the best ever, and sell it in shiny colors. It's a loop, and it's worked for nearly two decades. Tesla, on the other hand, doesn't really do loops. Musk's approach is pure disruption. The Pi phone isn't thinner just for bragging rights, it's thinner and stronger. It's not just light, it's smart enough to grip itself when your hand can't. The battery isn't a slight upgrade, it's a seven-year marathon runner adapted from aerospace tech. Every single spec feels like a rebuke to Apple's playbook of incrementalism. But what makes this clash fascinating is the underlying philosophy about people. Apple designs for the average user. Tesla designs for all users. From a 20-year-old content creator shooting 8 Kelvin video to a 70-year-old trying to FaceTime the grandkids without dropping the phone, the Pi feels like it was built with everyone in mind. It's almost a cultural duel. Apple sells fashion statements wrapped in aluminum. Tesla sells future-proof tools built for real human problems. One wants to keep you locked in. The other wants to set you free from weak batteries, dead zones, fragile frames, and yearly upgrade traps. And that's why the Pi phone isn't just another device. It's Musk walking onto Apple's turf, planting a flag, and saying, this is how it's done. What's truly unbelievable about the Pi phone? So, after all the specs, the numbers, the fancy buzzwords, what's actually unbelievable about the Tesla Pi phone? It's not just that it's thinner than an iPhone, or that it charges faster than your coffee brews, it's that it redefines what a phone is supposed to be. Think about it. 
For years, smartphones have been stuck in the same cycle. Better screen, better camera, slightly bigger battery, rinse and repeat. Useful, yes, but not revolutionary. The Pi breaks that mold by merging three worlds, aerospace engineering, automotive design, and consumer electronics into a single, pocket-sized slab of magic. It's a phone that doesn't just connect you to the internet, it connects you to the stars through Starlink. It doesn't just capture moments, it adapts to shaky hands and aging eyes so nobody gets left out of the picture. It doesn't just survive a drop in the pool, it shrugs it off with IP69 durability and modular components you can swap instead of replacing the whole thing. And here's the real kicker, this isn't a concept render or a futuristic dream. The Pi phone is here, in 2026, ready for anyone willing to step outside the Apple bubble. That's what makes it unbelievable. Because in a world where tech giants settle for incremental upgrades, Elon Musk just reminded us what actual innovation feels like disruptive, bold, and maybe even a little bit outrageous. So the question now is simple. Would you stick with the most powerful iPhone ever built, or take the leap into Tesla's future in your pocket? Let us know in the comments.